Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. In the last episode, uh, I think we did Thomcraft stuff. Maybe we'll do more. Let's get started. Thomcraft keeps telling me I've gained some kind of insight, but the uh, tab for Eldritch has not opened up. So I'm not sure if it's just unfinished, if I have to like use a command to open it up or something, but... I don't seem to be getting it from warp, from eating zombie brains, so I'm not sure about that. I'll look at that a little bit more. But for now, uh, I think we're ready to do the rainbow generator. So, made a few changes to the base. I added tons more travel anchors. Got rid of all the elevators. I put these three in a sub-basement. Uh, this guy is noisy. I don't think he has any damage, though. This guy is going to give me a doom effect, which will kill me. This guy will wither me. I don't like any of those things, so I'm putting them somewhere else. Also, it gives the room a little bit better symmetry, so I like that too. So, everything is ready to go, everything is set up, everything will export, and everything can keep up. I did go ahead and turn back on the Jaded Amaranthus, because I want to make sure we've got tons and tons of flowers. So, I just put the tank back there, I'm going to let the flowers just be in here, and live here forever. Because... I know I'm going to need more dye, and I'm using these guys for dye, so I want to make sure I've got plenty of dye at all times. So, especially pink dye anyway, so that's the most important one. So, okay, yep, that should be all good. So, we only need to run this guy for a short period of time. So, I'm going to create a self-resetting lever. I think I'll try one at 30 seconds, but 10 seconds may already overwhelm us. I don't really know. Um, I can't seem to find any big power storage options with the mods I have. The only mod that seems capable of storing like tons and tons of RF that I know about is Draconic. I've never done anything with Draconic. I don't really want to install it in the pack, but I might have to. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to build a floor out of vibrant capacitor banks. So, let's see here. Let's go to the power room. Let's see, how many do I want? I want two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I want 49 of these guys. So, you know, however much power that is, is what we'll have. And then I will find some way to take that power and put it somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. So basically, we'll have an input under this guy. And everything else is going to be an output somewhere. And yeah, that's what we're going to have. So let's get working on those. Vibrant capacitor banks. All right. Wow, we can't get that many. We don't have enough range of infinity. I had not considered that. Okay, okay. Um, the other option is from RF Tools Power. They have some confusingly named power cells, which are not these power cells. These power cells do link up, and they transfer power wirelessly. These guys don't, and they'll store more power. So, maybe we can build 49 of these guys. They only hold 20 million RF. Hmm. Let's see if the, um... Let's see if the thermal power cells... I keep looking for elevators and they're not here anymore. Let's see if the thermal machines energy cells link up. Because we can enchant them with holding, and I think we can get 150 million for each one. So, we'll need quite as many of those. So, let's teach it how to make energy cells. Alright, I want... Yeah, I want one of these guys. Okay. Need to make energy cell frames. And that should be enough to make an energy cell. So, we're going to put two of you in here. And I want to make two of those guys and two wait is that what i wanted 
I want that one. Oh, I don't have my connections wheels. Okay. That's fine. Not a problem. We'll add that too. I guess I never made those either. They're not used very much, so, you know. If I'm using the power anyway, I'm not using, I wasn't using the power for anything. So, okay. Let's try that again. I don't think these guys link up. So, but we can see. All right, so two million, two million. Yeah, I don't think they link up. I mean, you could dump from one to another and it might be okay. I could put one of these guys in the middle. I could have a cross pattern going around him. Maybe even a six way and then output from the bottom. I like the way that would look. I think I just have the cross pattern. But that's not terrible. And then I could output to a couple on the sides and have some more um, capacity. Let's try that out. It's not as though we're rolling resources. Let's try it out. So I want uh, three more of these guys. So, and then I want five conversion kits. Are we low on something? Ah, oh, it's got to make more endearium. 64 is not enough to make five conversion kits. I had no idea. Maybe we're not keeping that much endearium in the system. Is there a reason I wouldn't be keeping that much endearium? Let's see here. I've got so many of these things now, I'm, I'm kind of getting confused, you know. I want auto-processing. So, how much do I keep inside you? I keep eight? Why do I keep eight of you in there? It's interesting. And Dirium requires... Lead and Dirium base. It require oh, we're quite a bunch of platinum. We didn't have platinum. We do now though. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I needed them before, but eh, whatever. So let's see here. How you guys coming? Let's just cancel you guys. What are you all making? You guys are making a bunch of stuff and you're kind of busy. So let's go down to these rooms and hit you with the bottle. Okay, there we go. Power's not doing bad either, so I think we're doing okay on a lot of that stuff. Yeah. There we go. Some Enderium base. And yeah, more Enderium. Okay. So, let's try that again. They're all labeled. When you have so many in close proximity, they're hard to see sometimes. Okay. Conversion kits. Just need one more, huh? And my energy cells... Okay. Oh. They don't stack. Even when they're empty, they don't stack. It looks like they stack in here, but they don't. Okay, so these can all do 25,000 RF per tick. That's more than we can do with our Ender IO conduits, so that's fine. But I want to get them holding as well. So how can we get holding? I want holding four. That's going to be chests and lapis. 
48 chests. Wait, I'm so confused. This is very confusing. Like 16 chests and three lapis will get you that? Maybe trap chests are more efficient than regular chests? 64 chests and 12 lapis get you that. All right, you know what? I'm going to make uh, a bunch of chests. So, um, we'll start with that many. And we'll get some lapis. And I'll get some books and quills. Some books with quills. All right. So, let's see what we can do with this guy if I want uh, max holding all right so yeah you would get me holding four for 25 levels okay you use all the chests so I guess we're gonna need you Didn't I ask you for a bunch more chests? Didn't I ask you for 128? Huh. Well, wow. Not enough wood yet. Not enough wood yet. Not enough wood yet. Wow. Okay, um, how much wood are we keeping in the system? Probably a thousand. I guess that needs to go way up, doesn't it? So, planks. Yeah, you've got that many in the system. Let's see, I don't want to go to the smell tree. I want to go to the auto processing room. So, here's this guy. I think the machine is faster than the pullout. So, let's get some Ender IO conduit upgrades. You know how to make them? Okay, hang on. Not the machine room, I want the storage room. Okay, I want you to be able to make uh, extraction upgrades. These guys. Because I might need those. And I want the regular iron, not the iron alloy. Okay. So, let's add you in here. And then let's get 15 of those guys. Okay. Uh, auto processing. Okay. So, yeah, if we could get those in there, that should get, let you plot a second at a time. And that should speed this guy up. Because the machine is faster than we're getting things in. So let's see here. Yeah, I want uh oops, not that. I want you over here. Okay. So there is wood in the system. A thousand. I want much more than that. So where is my storage? I want to go over there. Are planks over here? I don't see them. Let's make a drawer for planks. I want some planks, but I also want a drawer. All right, so I want you to be planks. I want some upgrades. I want a void upgrade and I want a gold upgrade. You know, these can go away. I don't know why I'm keeping these. I mean, I'll never use iron ever again for upgrades. All right. Um, let's lock you. And then I want to move you. So let's get the axe out. OK, 
Okay. Alright, so... Plank. I shouldn't be overwhelmed by this. Um, but I think I was. So... Let's see, let's get you out of there. Let's get um, you out of there. Let's move a few things around just for a second. You are going to get tossed. Okay. You can go away. You can go away. You. You can stay. Okay. So, okay, now they're all in that drawer, which is where I want them. However, I don't want you to have a thousand, I want you to have eight thousand, or you know. Whatever that number is, which is an 8,000, but I always keep calling 8,000 because reasons. All right, so yeah, you are now much faster to get wood. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go back to our storage room. So I wanted more chests. Okay. All right, we need some lapis. You know what? Why am I doing this? Let's just keep them in stock. I mean, what harm can it can we get from keeping a second chest in stock at all times, right? All right, so there we go. I want to go to home. All right, so let's keep going. Um, I need the books. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I need levels too. Need more chests. I don't know why I'm worried about five levels at this stage. Okay, I need more chests. Alright, there we go. There it is, the last one. So we've got five holding guys. So let's go pick these guys up. Alright, I guess I'll put my uh, Charm of Feeding Me back on because I don't seem to be doing anything with the zombie brains. Okay, so uh, what do we need to enchant you? Four. So that's going to be what, 20 levels? We've got five of these guys? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I've got five of these guys that can hold, you know. Millions of RF, and we're wirelessly charging in these guys. So let's just uh, let's just take you out for a second. Yeah, let's just uh, deactivate you for a little while. Yeah, these guys won't charge wirelessly from that guy. This guy will charge wirelessly, but the other ones won't. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I do it on skulls, by the way. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. 
I repaired the sword again, so maybe I want to think about a, a different kind of sword than that, because I don't like having to go repair him every once in a while. If uh, we start using this a lot, I keep looking for the elevator. It's not there anymore. I'm like, where's the elevator? Uh, if we keep using that, we're going to want to do something else with this. So, all right. So here is our power room. And here is the basic plan. So, here's the front. Um, everything else will be input. So top is going to be input. Right, left, front, and back should be output. You're not back, you're bottom. Or are you bottom? All right, we'll break the rainbow gem for a minute. Okay, yes, you are input. That's what we want. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to dump out to all of these neighboring guys. Okay. So, these guys... These guys should all be inputs, except for maybe one side. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one side yet. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to support the channel, feel free to give it a like and a subscribe. And if you don't want to support the channel, uh, I guess don't do those things. That, that'd be my advice. See you next time.